I've been called out, guys. I, I'm being called out. I don't know if you know this. Are you aware? I'm being called out. Apparently, I'm being called out as one of those people who thinks there's no evidence against Joe Biden. Um, which, uh, by the way, uh, there isn't. Let's roll. So, um, yeah, yeah. And um, none, by none other than uh, Chris uh, Saucy Pedo, Saucy Pedo, Spaznito, Magneto, um, something like that. Um, apparently, the biggest evidence is here he is with a floating thing of cash in between his hands. He, apparently, uh, Biden has the power to levitate bags of money, which I, I, I fear now. I'm, I'm, now I'm scared of the man. Now I'm scared. No evidence in quotes. And then it says the uh, Robert L. Peters email, which is at a government website. So it's archived. It's not that I, do, I look, I'm almost more offended that they think Biden, who's been in government as long as he has, doesn't know how to get around. But like the, the idea that somehow his back channels or front channels, which I mean, sounds dirty but isn't. You could say it's a back door, but I call it a smart door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. I was there. Moon River. All right. So uh, Salcedo calls out those who says there's no evidence to impeach Biden. Well, here it comes. I'm ready. I'm going to take her out of the And legit. bipartisan claims that there's simply no evidence for a... Uh, that's a terrible impersonation of me. Um, you forgot to swear. There is no fucking evidence. Information and conjecture do uh, evidence do not make. Mm. Biden impeachment, but is that true? <laughs> uh huh. Or just more fake news? That uh, that's your job. That's where we begin. Because that's where we begin. Here we go. Because the biased press, in service to their political party, the Democrats, have been ignoring all the harm the Biden regime has been doing to us. Oh yes, all uh, like yeah, low unemployment and uh, the infrastructure repairs and all that kind of shit and the broadband throughout rural communities. They are on the. Which, by the way, uh, Newsmax is probably singularly one of the biggest beneficiaries of it, because being an internet news source. Here and online yeah. touting how great Joe Biden is and the great job he's doing on us. They have ignored the multiple. Uh, for for us, for for us. Gaps. They have ignored the multiple falls. They have ignored a doddering fool who is captive. To the young marks. What, show at least one of the falls. Like he, he tripped going up steps. You have the footage. That's him just walking out slowly. Who gives a shit? I don't care how he strides, motherfucker. It's decision making process. Roosevelt was in a wheelchair. Sists who tell him what to say and when to say it. Well, then if it's if then he's not corrupt. If he's being told by leftovers from the Obama administration, what to say and when to say it, then he's not, then he's a puppet for other corrupt people. Why, why would the Chinese and everybody pay him to do shit that he may or may not do unless he's told by somebody else they aren't paying? I just Bullshit. can't. It's the silliest. It's so silliness and the biased press has ignored the in-your-face corruption that joe biden by the way they keep using this video of him like it's him falling asleep at the fucking stand this is his reaction to a peter Ducey question where he's clearly making the joke like lord give me the strength not to go full irish on this dumbass put into place when he did have look here's the it, it, by the way, uh, I think your editor has fallen down. This is the same footage of him walking. We saw him walking. I don't care that he walked. How is he supposed to float? <laughs> All of his mental faculties. There's no evidence. That's the big lie. Right. And again, where do you think he's going? He, he, why is this the footage? Why is him walking away the footage? Do they think this shows him being lost? You don't want me to go and look up the footage of Trump walking off onto the tarmac Right? Remember that one? Where Trump's like, uh, Mr. President, right? We're just wandering off in, onto the runway. And they're like, sir, the car's right fucking here. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's our focus in today's preamble. The preamble. Yesterday, Biden's new brain, Corrine Jean-Luc Picard, stepped in front of the mostly passive White House press. Why, why is Corrine Jean-Pierre 
And jo why would Jean-Luc Picard be an insult, for one, other than you just think the names sound vaguely French, Salpedo? And made this astonishing claim. I also want to be clear about a couple of things. You know, I just talked about binomics. I just talked about what the president's going to do tomorrow, really deliver a major speech, something that the American people want to hear about. What are mm -hmm. we doing to improve their lives, work on the economy? And right. these are real, real issues, real priorities for Americans. Uh, True. Uh, and like I said, like lowering costs. But what you see Republicans uh, in Congress, right, they have uh, spent all year investigating the president. That's what they've spent all year doing and uh, have turned up with no evidence, none, he, that he did anything wrong. I mean, that is what we've heard over and over again from their own. Yeah, here's here's the thing. This is what's making him mad. And this is her saying it. If If she's saying it that way, while wearing an orange jacket. Trust me, after all this time, they've worked it out. They've had meetings and went, okay, what's, is there anything really going on behind here that they might grab onto that even gives us, gives them some place to make a toehold? Nope. Her making this statement as the official statement of the White House is a huge fuck you to the, to Salcedo and his clan. And that's why they're mad. That's why they're angry about this because they're like, fuck, they, you know, you don't think the Biden legal team and everybody hasn't just reviewed everything these motherfuckers want to see or have seen already. You don't think they've looked it over. You don't think that they've assigned people. The dude got a fucking infrastructure bill passed. What are you talking about? You don't think they're doing the fucking due diligence at this point? Good Lord. Year-long investigation. And uh, and that's because the president didn't do anything wrong. Right. The hopelessly pro-Democrat anti-American press has continued to echo this no evidence of an impeachable offense line as many have on uh, social media. These left-wing... As many... ...sycophants who populate the online social media site. Hi there. How you doing? Could they be telling the truth? Maybe, maybe, maybe they're telling the truth. Let's explore that. There is no evidence. If right. you think that three known FBI FD 1023s detailing Biden corruption, is it evidence? Okay, three, I know of one, it has three pages. It's from Rudy Giuliani and it's bullshit. So I don't know where the other two are, but we'll, we'll, give, we'll give them the other two. I'm just going to call bullshit. Okay. There is no evidence unless you consider that Joe Biden admitted he has illegally possessed classified documents from as far back as 1974. Uh, I'm pretty sure those classified documents are now moved beyond their classification cycle. Also, um, no. He has had access to them since the 70s because he was a House member. There is no evidence unless you know about more than 20 LLCs, which were established by Biden family members and their associates. Those shell companies have transferred in excess of $20 million between foreign nationals and at least nine members of the Biden family. Well, again, they're not shell companies, like for uh, Owasco or whatever, for example. That's not a shell company. That's Hunter Biden's legal firm. That's where the vast majority of the shit went through. The Rosemont Seneca has their secondary offshoot firms. Uh, for example, like Rosemont Seneca Real Estate the Holdings, that one, that was set up by Hunter and ever and uh and John Kerry's kid or and the other and Archer. The three of them is the primaries, but Archer ran the real estate one because that was really his expertise. Now he sat on the board of Burisma. And he didn't know any more about oil and gas than Hunter did, but somehow they don't have a problem with it. Devin Archer's a genius compared to Hunter Biden. But the money that went to Devin Archer doesn't count. That's not, you can't add that to the 20 toll. And it didn't go to a shell company. It simply went to a subsidiary of Rosemont Seneca. Yesterday, I got to say, one of the new um, uh, chips that I have on my shoulder that has Glenn Beck's name on it is him saying they were offshore companies. When they were all fucking, except for one, all of them, and none of them, by the way, were on in the Caymans or anything like that. All of them were in Delaware. 
There is no evidence if you choose to ignore at least 170 suspicious activity reports from banks. Red. How many suspicious activity reports uh, has Trump been involved in? Because it's anything over $10,000 automatically gets tagged post 9-11. I don't give a fuck. I want to know if they were, if afterwards they found out it was money laundering. They looked into it. Here's the question. All during the Trump years, I'm supposed to believe that these suspicious uh, activity reports were never given a glance ever after the, I guess, primarily that they were seen. And when they, they never went through them. And if they did go through them, they found out, oh, this isn't suspicious. This is just a transfer. By the way, that's how it often happens. Flagging those Biden family transactions from foreign nationals in compliance with the law, those banks reported those red flags to the IRS, which apparently has been covering up for the Bidens. There is no evidence so long. No, the Bidens, no, not at all. Joe Biden has released two decades of his tax returns. As long as you don't admit that those SARS reports are backed up by thousands of pages of bank records. The existence of them? What do you mean backed up? They're not backed up. If it would go from suspicious activity to criminal activity, if they were quote unquote backed up, if you read the suspicious activity report and it led you to reading the bank records and you went, oh, this money's stolen or this money's filtered through somebody else or whatever. Oy. And uh, have turned up with no evidence none, yep. he, that he did anything wrong. And that's because the president didn't do anything wrong. Okay, no evidence according. Right, no evidence. Information is not evidence. Also, here's the biggest thing. This is all about allegedly influence peddling. Okay, what was the benefit? What was the quo in the quitting and the proing? Because that was, that's what makes a, a crime is what makes evidence or information into evidence. Everything is information until it leads someplace where it's either indicative of something, directed at something, or evidence of something. Right? ...to CNN and MSNBS, the rest of the compromised press as well, because they failed to report a credible FBI source who has worked with the agency... Who's that? Who? Who is that? ...for more than 10 years who alleged that at least 17 recordings of Joe and Hunter Biden exist. Right. Yeah, Rudy Giuliani. We know he's full of shit. And? I mean, if you're still going to hang your hat on a, a single allegation, by the way, third degree allegation from two other, you know, two sources deep. And that's going to be, that's your evidence. The allegation is your evidence. Then you don't know what evidence is. Where they are discussing business with Burisma executives while Biden was vice president. Well, shit. Play him. Roll the tape. Let's do it. How about, I'm sure you, you may not have the original recording. But you've got transcriptions. You've got a description of the actual conversation. I mean, discussing business isn't clearly enough. You you have to go, what kind of business? Because you could argue that if, uh, like, Biden's talking to Petro Poroshenko about the businesses that are in Ukraine, that some are corrupt and some are not, and that kind of stuff. That doesn't quite qualify, does it? Mm -hmm. Also, why wouldn't why wouldn't Hunter Biden be talking to Zlovchevsky at one point as an employee? There's no evidence of an impeachable offense if you've never seen Joe Biden openly admit that he withheld congressionally approved funds on No. <laughs> nope. On the condition that Ukraine fight No, you didn't get funds. It's a it was a uh, loan guarantee. It's not the same thing. Hire a prosecutor investigating Burisma, that energy company that If this motherfucker plays the CFR tape. Hunter Biden was making tons of money off of and with which Joe Biden allegedly promised American foreign policy changes in exchange for millions of dollars of foreign cash. What policy change? When were we never on the side of Ukraine? When were we never on the side of actually moving Ukraine away from Yanukovych and ultimately Petro Poroshenko to the, the nation it's become since then? 
When was that ever not policy? I mean, it's not policy to MTG and Matt Gates. It's not policy to this fucker, I guess. But when was that the generalized thought other than Trump personally trying to interfere in shit? When? Good Lord. They were walking out. Oh, he's playing the fucking tape. Yeah, uh, it's not. Oh, God damn it. It's not a hot mic, shithead. He's at, this is during the question and answer part. Oy. Press conference. I'd love to take on Tom Fitton and those idiots. Said, no, sure. I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. Right. Call him. This is where the whole thing dies. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And replaced with a guy who was, at the time, solid. Right? They cut that part off. Mm -hmm. Congresswoman Elise Stefanik putting out the is in moron. This tweet earlier today, quote, in 2015, then Deputy Secretary of State Antony Blinken praised the Ukrainian government. Uh-huh. And Prosecutor General Victor Shok uh -uh. the guy that got fired, for successfully combating corruption. But then VP Joe Biden corruptly changed the United States policy towards Ukraine, along with the assessment of Mr. Shokin. Nope. This is what corruption at the highest levels of the federal government looks like. And this is what a lie looks like. The Blinken statement, as was the generalized statement uh, that they put together with the World Bank and all that, was about the Ukrainian government as a whole and that they were hitting certain uh, marks that would allow them to get more money, they still had some to hit and they hadn't done it by the trip, including the firing of Shokin. No, uh, by the way, none of the folks in there backed Shokin. This is just garbage. That What they're attributing is that moving from Yanukovych to Poroshenko and that Poroshenko was... Uh, you know, better than Yanukovych, not as good as Zelensky and moving in the right direction in theory because he needed to move in the right direction to get international funds because the World Bank and the United States were basically standing up Ukraine after that. That that in and of itself was the reason he was hitting some of these markers. Not because he wanted to. Quote. And this is what Blinken said about Ukraine before Joe Ukraine. Biden withheld congressionally approved funds to get Shokin fired. What has been the response? March 2015. From Kyiv. Well, despite the conflict, the government has worked very hard to forge a new and better future. The government. It signed the association agreement with the European Union. Mm -hmm. It held free and fair elections, not once but twice, under siege and producing, for whatever its deficiencies, probably the best government that Ukraine has had since its independence. It's been working to undertake deep, and comprehensive economic and political reforms. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wor working to. Working to. Has, had they reached it yet? No. Why do they fucking think this is a slam dunk? Does it, can anybody explain to me why this dumb fuck thinks that's a slam dunk? Basically, Blinken saying they were horrible. They're on the path to better. Uh, remember all the hearings Ryan and McConnell called when VP came back when he went rogue? No, because <laughs> he didn't. Wow. Sounds, sounds great over there. Uh, yeah. Did, did you hear? There was one word that wasn't mentioned in it. Does anybody remember? Did anybody realize what the word was? Do I have to replay it? Let's, let me see. Let's, let's listen to it again. Let's, let's listen to what the statement was again. This is the, let's, there's one word missing. Biden withheld yes. congressionally approved funds to get Shokin fired. What has been the response from Kyiv? Well, despite the conflict, conflict, the government has worked very hard to forge a new and better future. Has worked very hard. It signed hard. the association agreement with the European That's Union. Great. It held free and fair elections, not once but twice. Excellent. Under siege and producing, for whatever its deficiencies, probably the best government whatever its that Ukraine has had since its independence. Mm -hmm. It's been working to undertake deep and it's comprehensive economic and political reforms. Mm -hmm. Working to hmm. one, one, one word there. It's a proper noun. Shokin. We be shokin. 
Shokin. He never mentions him. Not once. Doesn't bring him up. Uh, well, he kind of brings him up in uh, the never mind its deficiencies part. Wow. Sounds, sounds great over there. And don't forget, there's no evidence of an impeachable offense if you forget the Democrats impeached President Trump for allegedly withholding congressionally approved funds to Ukraine, which he didn't do. Yeah, that's not the same thing. So uh, this was military funds that were signed off by the Congress to actually be allocated, not loan guarantees that were at the discretion of the administration. Also, the, the responsibility of the administration to administratively look over the disbursement of those funds was to make sure that Ukraine was hitting those markers before they got it, because that's why it was in installments in the first place. This was the third fucking payment. They'd already given one. They'd already given this. This was the last one, Salpito. But now those same Democrats, after watching Joe Biden admit that he did do it on tape, they will tell you there's no... Because it was a policy... By the way, the, the money that was allocated to go to that Congress earmarked as a loan guarantee around this would have been predicated on these particular standards. And as a matter of fact, if you ask anybody on the Republican side, the standards have never been met. Oh, Kathy, thank you so much for the super sticker. That's really lovely. Thanks for the support, guys. Uh, don't forget super chats and stuff. Very helpful. Thank you. That was very sweet. Evidence. There's no evidence if you've successfully suppressed Hunter Biden's former business partner. That's right. There's no evidence unless you consider Devin Wait. Archer, who testified under oath that then Vice President Biden spoke with Hunter's business partners at least 20 times on speaker about the weather microphone between 2008 and not about business, about the weather and fishing. He literally testifies under oath that he never heard them discuss business. 2016 as VP. There is no evidence if you are stupid enough to think that it's perfectly legal and perfectly normal for the National Archives to have in its possession 5,400 emails from Vice President Joe Biden proving he used pseudonyms to communicate government information to Hunter Biden's invest no. investment firm. No, he didn't. And by the way, if you don't have them, you can't say that they prove that at all. But never mind the fact that that's not the case at all. The government pseudonym is, again, a, a registered pseudonym. It's part of the process of actually operating within the vice presidency. Again, who the fuck thinks that, the, that Obama's real email address was Barack H. Obama at WhiteHouse.gov? And that he would be able to use that like, uh, Michelle. Let me check the email. How did people get this? How did it get out? No evidence? Folks, even left-wing media, before Joe Biden was chosen as the Democrat... Yeah, it's not Politico. Pratt Savior, were openly writing about Biden corruption, the Politico. Writing about Biden, Inc., back when Democrats all agreed that Joe Biden was the village idiot, never conceiving he'd sit in the White House. He was... He had already sat in the White House as vice president, dumb fuck. He was already there. This article was written in 2019. He'd already left the White House after being in there for eight fucking years. They never even thought about it. No evidence isn't the same as wishful thinking. No evidence isn't the same as not reporting the evidence. Yeah, there still isn't any. You're not reporting evidence either. No evidence isn't the same as the evidence is politically inconvenient for the Marxist agenda. Okay. Um, well, I will say that if uh, technically any information where a public figure or their family makes money in the private sector, in the free market economy, or, or throughout it, would be negative to the Marxist agenda since nobody's supposed to have private property and currency and whatever in a Marxist agenda, I think. Good Lord. All of you watching me right now will invariably run across a left-wing lunatic in your life, blithely squawking, there's no evidence, there's no evidence. I don't blithely squawk, so I don't think he's talking about me here, so. Evidence against Joe Biden. There isn't. All you need do is uh -huh. find this preamble on social media and play it. Oh, I found it. I found it. And uh, uh, Salpito, you made some really uh, broad claims. It's in the title. 
You're calling me out, and yet, you ain't said shit, son. Back. Those who say there is no evidence of Biden corruption and criminal activity, they are pushing the big lie. Um, yeah, pushing it right out the door. You mean making sure that Trump never becomes president again? Oh, that was it. He was, uh, do you notice how they took him out on the up breath? Watch this. Criminal activity. They are pushing the big lie. Uh, oh, that's sad. Newsmax pulls the rug right out from under. Oh, it's just sad. Oh, that's good. Sorry, one second. Hold on. Oh, hey, Chris. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I just did the clip. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I was really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I do, I will say, you do look like a complete asshole. Yeah. I mean, just flaily, angry, confused. You, you, hello? Hello? He hung up. He hung up. That's wrong. All right. Um, yeah. So, obviously, by the way, you're watching Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. Sore shoulder and all. I think I'm doing a pretty fine show tonight. Ah! I'm, I'm okay. Um... Yes, he had something else stupid to say, and they cut him off. It's just terrible.